Aramaic, um, we're not using Aramaic anymore. It's like you can say a forgotten language. Um, only in, in Jewish prayers, here and there, they use Aramaic, but uh, it's quite similar to Hebrew. At the time of Christ, they, they spoke both languages, Aramaic, Hebrew, and, um, and Greek was, of course, the international language back then. So, we are, don't forget, below sea level here, 210 meters below sea level, the hotel we are staying in. And we are now going up, above sea level, up to the mountains. Soon you will get to view the sea, the Lake of Gennesaret, or Sea of Tiberias. You should know that there are four different names to the same body of water. And you know them, Sea of Galilee, Sea of Tiberias, Lake of Gennesaret, and the Hebrew, Kineret, or Kinorot. Kinorot. Now, Kiner, kin, Kineret, it means, uh, it's uh, actually a musical instrument, the harp, because of its shape. Yeah, the heart. So four names. But it's all together, it's a lake. I mean, uh, why, why, name, why it was named sea? Because it's a, it's a small lake, but it behaves as a sea. And you can have indeed serious storms, as it is recorded in the Bible. Because the lake is surrounded by mountains and very deep valleys, and whenever the wind is blowing real fast and strong, it can start serious storms on the lake. I've experienced several with the groups uh, when we took the boat. Today it looks calm, and uh, so we'll pray it will stay calm. If not, we'll have a full experience, yeah. A better experience. <laughs> so it's, it's freshwater lake, see? Um, 21 kilometers long, and at the widest it's 12 kilometers. 50 meters, 50 meters deep. And it's fed by the Jordan River. Most of the water coming from the north, from Mount Hermon, where the slow melts. Lots of water coming underground, springs actually. It's spring fed. And then down to the Sea of Galilee. Now the, the river Jordan used to go further south to the Dead Sea, remember? All the way down along the valley, but not anymore. Because there is a dam that blocks the water. And uh, as a result of it, the Dead Sea is getting smaller. So we're heading, we are going to leave the Sea of Galilee area, but we will still be in the Galilee region. Because if you look at the map, all the northern area of Israel, it's called Galilee. It's a geographical area. And the Sea of Galilee on the east side of the of Galilee. And but all the mountains around it is part of the Galilee. So we're heading to the southwest and to Mount Tabor, Tabor, the Mount of the Transfiguration. When we'll get there, we'll have to use taxis. Each taxi takes uh, eight or seven people. It's a very windy road that takes the people all the way to the very top. The elevation on Mount Tabor, it's 588 meters, exactly. 588 meters above sea level. So we'll go and we'll visit the, the beautiful church, the Church of the Transfiguration, which was designed by uh, the famous architect Antonio Barluzzi. Uh, in the beginning of the 20th century. So it was designed like three tabernacles. Remember the saying of Christ, of the disciples to Christ. It is good for us to be here. Let us build three tabernacles, one for you, one for Elijah and Moses. So that's the way the church was designed. So we'll go there. When we we'll come back down, the bus will take us from Mount Tabor back to the Sea of Galilee. And we will visit the northern side of the lake. We'll go to the Mount of the Beatitudes, where we'll have mass there. And later, uh, after lunch, we'll visit uh, Tabcha, uh, the feeding of the 5,000, Capernaum, and the boat ride in the afternoon. So it will be a special day today. Only now, after the next curve, we will be above sea level. There is even a sign on the side of the road. You see, there is a this little sign here, sea level. So we're going, yeah, we're going now above. And here is the lake, the Sea of Galilee. Look how beautiful. And the mountains on the other side, if you go across, it is the, in the Bible time. It's called Decapolis, which was known as the non-Jewish area. 
So in Galilee, you had Jews and non-Jews, and also on the northern shore, it was only Jewish villages. But on the east side, the Decapolis, the non Remember the story with the, the pigs, with the miracle? Jesus so took place on the other side. But it's also called the Golan Heights. It's a high ground, the Golan Heights, that Israel took from Syria in 1967 during the Six-Day War. And since then, Israel is control, controlling the Golan Heights. So the border used to be the top of the hills, looking overlooking the Sea of Galilee. Now the border is 10 kilometers further out. Okay. Thank you, uh, Jabal. Our uh, prayer leader for today in this bus will be would like to request uh, Roberta Jaramillas. <laughs> you will sit beside uh, Kayana. Uh, 